from the mysterious Chengbai Mountains to the mighty Alps. We embark on an epic winter expedition, connecting extraordinary sights from opposite ends of the globe. This time, I join forces with Wang Lei, a native of the Chengbai Mountains in Jilin province of China. Over 10 years ago, he showcased his exceptional ski jumping skills, eventually earning a place on the national team. Since going professional in 2002, he has become known as the foremost figure in Chinese snowboarding. This time, Thomas Mermillot Blondin will be my guide. He's from Savoie, France, and mainly works in alpine skiing. From 2010 to 2018, he represented France in three consecutive Winter Olympic Games. He has also participated in the World Cup and World Championship on many occasions. <sighs> from Jilin, China. It's magnifique. To Savoie, France. Crazy. We will share our experiences as we traverse the land. We'll help each other gain a deeper understanding of the local inhabitants' lives. We'll explore these splendid natural marvels and the cultural traditions they have shaped. <laughs> we'll delve into the locals' unique way of life. <laughs> we'll relish this experience in the best way we can. Je viens d'arriver ici en Chine à Jinling. J'ai vraiment hâte d'aller à la rencontre des gens et découvrir des nouveaux paysages qu'on n'a pas du tout l'habitude de voir en Savoie. Là dans Savoie, je connais beaucoup de cultures et de culture. Je veux plus de connaître les paysages de la ville. Je suis heureux d'avoir eu Thomas. Je veux que Thomas me donne plus de conseils et de bons conseils. Bonjour Thomas, comment vas-tu I would love to learn more about the culture, the tradition, and explore the area here. Where should I start? From the Changbai Mountain, follow the Songhua River. It's the biggest river in the Jilin. The river has given life to the people of Jilin many ways, including okay. its diverse culture. Well, that certainly makes it easy to remember. Yep. It looks like we're on the right track. As for you, my friend, there are lots of valleys hidden in the mountain. There, you will discover Savoya way of life. I suggest that Wang Lei go to Palafor and Tien of Savoie. I suggest that Thomas go to Wu Song Island in Ji Lin to experience the local winter culture. Many people love winter because ice and snow turn the whole world white and pure. Wang Lei has mentioned the place I'm in today many times. He said that I would regret it if I didn't come, and he's right. Standing here, I feel as if I'm in a fairy tale world. Wow, it's just incredible. Un paysage comme ça, c'est, c'est, euh, je l'ai jamais vu, ouais. vraiment avec euh, des paysages, le temps est figé, euh. ah, c'est magnifique. The beautiful scenery here is created by rime, a natural phenomenon that can be seen in a few parts of China. In this riverside city in northern China, rime always occurs overnight. The trees on the riverbanks are covered in silvery white, making the place look like a wonderland. 
rime forms when supercooled water droplets freeze onto the surface of trees. In Jilin, the temperature can drop to minus 20 degrees Celsius in winter, but the water in the Songhua River that runs through the city can be above freezing. This is because of the thermal energy from the Fengman hydropower station above it. Because of the big temperature difference, the river is shrouded in mist, providing abundant moisture for rime to form. Rime is transitory and will melt if the temperature rises. So when rime appears, people immediately rush here as if they were celebrating a festival. Demande c'est quoi ce jeu On dirait un jeu de toupie avec un poêle. Ça a l'air assez chaud leur truc là, quand même. I see many children playing this game. They all look pretty good at it. They can keep the top spinning on the ice for a long time. Welcome Allez. to Chile. Merci, merci. Can you play this? Yeah, I want to try. Ha. Huh? Okay. Attention, attention, ouais, petit, il faut se mettre en bas. Et là, je tire. Oh là 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 Je te gère Non, mais là, euh, plus où elle est. Ah, il est là, il est là. J'ai surtout peur de mettre un coup de lasso. Hein. Ils sont tous autour de moi, mais c'est pas évident. Attention, les enfants. Non, mais pourquoi il part là-bas, lui Je te dis, genre. Ouais, ben là, voilà Et voilà J'ai réussi Ouais oh. Ok, apparemment, ils sont prêts à faire une petite course, là. Okay. Ils sont chauds Ils sont chauds C'est quoi la marque de départ Ils sont partis oh, Un top 3 là, non Top 3 on dira. Thomas told me that in Savoie in winter, the children also play a game in the snow. I wonder what it is. Play this, Fletcher. Okay, okay. I will do it. Wow. They invited me to go to Bali. I need a token. I'm coming. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Oh, my foot too big. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. Don't think this is a game for children. In fact, sleighing has a very long history. It was invented long ago by people who lived in icy and snowy areas. Today, luge has become a winter Olympic sport. Competitors must adjust their postures constantly in order to drive the luge on a track. The luge can reach speeds of 140 kilometers per hour. Although I'm doing my best, I'm still a novice, and the children show me no mercy. Oh, 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 hey. Wow! Yeah! I've done three miles of snow ski. Although two sides are controlled the direction, there are some places very fast. I can't control them. I think they are very good. The adjustment of the position is very good. I'm still the last one. Wow! This is so good. It's so good. For me, everything in Jilin is new and interesting. Now I want to learn more about the history and culture of the place and to experience the lives of the local people. Quoi? Ah. Wang Lei suggested I try a horse-drawn sleigh. He said it's a traditional mode of transport here. In winter, 
When roads are covered in snow and rivers and lakes are frozen, sleighs become indispensable for the local people's lives and work. Salut. Hey, Thomas. Hey. Ça a l'air sympa ton, ton cheval là, avec hey. le traîneau. Hey. Je pourrais essayer? Je vais essayer de vous montrer ce que vous voyez. Ok, super. Hey. On y va? Tiens. 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 Pour avancer. Tiens. 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 À droite. Tiens. À gauche. Tiens. Stop. C'est pour arrêter. Tiens. Stop. Tiens. The horse-drawn sleigh used to be a convenient mode of transport in northern China. Today, it is a tourist attraction. Here, people can enjoy riding the horse-drawn sleighs, which helps to protect and pass down this folk custom. Sous le traîneau, il y a des patins, on dirait des skis. Et maintenant qu'on a appris à diriger le, le cheval et le traîneau, est-ce qu'on pourrait pas essayer de faire quelque chose d'un peu plus fun avec ça Ok, allons-y alors. Ok, on va voir ce qu'il nous propose maintenant. Mr. Zhu Zhongli indulges my request by showing me his unique skill, drifting. Ah ouais. Ok. Ça c'est cool. <laughs> Je peux essayer maintenant. Piao yi de shi hao, ce ge di zui, ne ge di bie zui. Ce ge zui, ta ji diao guo lai la, yi piao yi la. Ok. Ma yi, ma yi, jia, jia, jia. Ma yi, ma yi, 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 yi. Jia, jia. Yeah. Merci de m'avoir appris à faire la, le drift avec le traîneau. Pourquoi Attention, <rire> Carmel. While Thomas tries the horse-drawn sleigh in Jilin. I'll try their equivalent in Savoie. Dog sleds have a very long history. People used to live on hunting in places covered with snow and ice. Dogs were not only hunters, but were also able to pull sleds across snow-covered regions. Thanks to their help, human beings managed to survive the extreme cold. Today, dog sledding has become a popular winter sport here. Hello, Nihon. How are you? Do you want to present your dogs? Doran, Doran. So you have Popeye and Marcellus, the two dogs behind, the two most strong. I want to ask you, how many dogs do you have? I have 85. 85 dogs are all the work? Yes, for the work, it's either dogs who are in the work, who have the age of work. There are 65 dogs who will take the trains every day in the summer. I really like dogs. 呃，也养狗，但是我不知道你为什么会做这样狗拉雪橇的事情，而且有这么多耐心去养这么多只狗。C'est une passion que j'ai toujours eue, se promener en montagne avec des chiens, c'est un petit peu comme monter sur un cheval. Il y a toujours cette magie de la, de la, du partage avec la nature, les, la glisse sur la neige, qui est quelque chose de magique. Tu peux connaître ça en snowboard. Le traîneau, une paire de patins, comme des skis, un guidon. Et un frein. Pour partir, bien entendu, tu vas lâcher ton frein. Donc, si tu tournes à gauche, on se penche à gauche. Si on tourne à droite, on se penche à droite. Pour arrêter les chiens, tu vas dire « wow, wow ». Et bien sûr, il faut freiner, toujours freiner. Avant les virages, tu vas, tu vas ralentir avant le virage. Tu ne vas pas t'arrêter, tu ne diras pas « wow ». Tu vas te dire « doucement les chiens, doucement » pour calmer les chiens aussi. Let's go yeah. Allez, on va se 
When I stand on the sled for the first time, my body is stiff and I am very nervous. All my attention is on the dogs, the ground, and the guide in front of me. I don't look at anything around us until about 10 minutes later. Then I gradually get used to it and discover how wonderful it is. Gliding in nature is a pure and natural pleasure. This is the best way to explore the world of ice and snow in the Alps. After experiencing traditional vehicles, we are eager to see what new discoveries we'll make. From the farm here in Isere Valley to Han Tuan Village by the Songhua River, we want to experience the local people's lives and learn about their traditions and customs. I'm now in Han Tuan, a village with a history of more than 400 years and home to 360 households. Jilin is a multi-ethnic city. Most of the villagers are from Manchu ethnic group. They still maintain the lifestyle and traditions that have been passed down for generations. This is just what I'm looking for. Et toutes ces décorations au mur, c'est aussi traditionnel ici à la région D'accord. Et ces motifs au, contre les fenêtres, c'est aussi une particularité de la région the local people can make almost any pattern out of red paper and use them as decorations. The art of paper cutting has a history of more than 1,500 years in China and is on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List. This folk art form embodies thousands of years of traditional Chinese culture. Sur ce motif-là, on voit différents symboles. Est-ce qu'il y a des significations pour ces symboles they explained to me that paper cuts have many different themes. For example, flowers, animals, and so on. These exquisite paper cuts symbolize people's wish for a beautiful life. Bon, pour l'instant, j'ai pas l'air, j'ai pas l'impression que ça ressemble à vraiment ce que vous faites. Mais... Paper cutting is an intricate art form. One tiny error will ruin all your previous efforts. As a novice, I'm pretty clumsy with the scissors. I have to fully concentrate. Okay. Dernier coup de ciseau. <laughs> Last. Et maintenant, on va essayer de pas le déchirer là. Ouvert. Toutou. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Under the teacher's guidance, I successfully made a window paper cut, which gave me a great sense of achievement. This trip in Jilin 
has been a whole new experience for me. I am now in Isère Valley in Savoie. Most of the local people work in agriculture and animal husbandry and have been doing so for generations. Xavier Matisse's family are famous local cheesemakers. He is the fourth generation manager of the farm. Hello. 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 Donc historiquement aussi, on a toujours travaillé tout notre lait et là on fait 12 fromages différents. Et on a une gamme de produits frais, comme ça on essaye d'avoir un plateau assez élargi pour convenir à, à tout le monde et à tous les repas. Bien sûr, j'allais te le proposer. Justement, va... l'heure de la traite arrive. Donc, euh, viens avec moi. On va te montrer tout ça. Oh. I'm now going to experience their daily work. Allez. Parce que l'air, euh, c'est pas bon, euh, ça fait revenir le lait dans la mamelle. Donc du coup, on met bien vers le bas. On appuie sur la flèche blanche, ça descend, voilà. Et puis on branche euh, trayon par trayon. Ok. In the peak period, a cow can produce 28 liters of milk a day. The fresh milk is made into cheese and other products every day. Du coup, je te propose, si tu veux, essayer de traire une vache à la main. Du coup, tu presses le traillon et puis Ouh. hop, voilà. Oh, oh waouh wow. T'as déjà fait la traite apparemment Oh On tourne la maison, ouais. <rire> Pour une première fois, c'est super, oui. Tu veux try fresh milk Fresh C'est très bien, c'est très bien. Sweet. And yeah, yeah, very sweet. Donc on peut le boire directement, il n'y a pas de souci. Et par contre, il y en a qui ne le boivent pas. C'est par exemple les femmes enceintes préconisent qu'il soit pasteurisé avant de le boire. Très bien, je vais essayer. Je vais voir comment on fait le cheese. Bonne visite alors. Bonne visite. Chinese New Year is approaching and Han Tuan village is decorated with lanterns and streamers. It's the most important traditional festival in China. <laughs> Everyone is dressed in beautiful clothes and families are making traditional food. Qu'est-ce qu'ils sont en train de préparer? C'est ce que nous avons de mes chers, nous avons tous les jours, nous avons tous les jours, nous avons tous Ça me paraît super bon, est-ce que je peux essayer? Là, il y a un grand grand grand, nous allons essayer ça. Wow. C'est particulier, c'est pas un goût qu'on a l'habitude d'avoir chez nous en Savoie. Mais c'est original, la texture est c'est un peu pâteux. Et puis ce qu'il y a à l'intérieur et tout, ça. Je pense que ici, ça, ça, ça doit bien aller, comme il fait très froid dehors, de rentrer et de manger un peu ce boulette, un peu comme ça, ça donne vraiment, je pense aussi, de l'énergie et ça, ça amène un peu de chaleur. Mm. 
Life in Jilin countryside in winter is unique. The local people don't waste the benefits brought by the coal. All food can be frozen and kept fresh in this natural refrigerator. Alors là, nous avons 400 litres de lait et nous allons faire 8 raclettes de environ 6 kilos. La première étape, c'est une fois que l'on a notre lait, c'est de le faire cailler. On va mettre le tablier. Oh. I've eaten cheese many times, but this is the first time I've made it myself. What intrigues me is that the cheese here isn't made industrially. Instead, it's made manually with a traditional technique that has been passed down for generations. Pour la raclette, il faut que les morceaux soient de la taille d'un grain de riz. Donc voilà, ça c'est le bon geste, c'est la bonne vitesse, mais c'est très dur, c'est très physique à faire. Ce C'est ah, sûr qu'il vaut mieux être, euh, être en bonne forme physique. The solidified milk has been broken into small cubes. The next step is to filter and squeeze them to get rid of the excess moisture and keep the essence. The whole process is like making tofu in China. They have kept this traditional technique, which has been passed down from generation to generation. Now, we'll put the cheese into the mold. Eh bien, maintenant, nous allons aller voir ce qui se passe à la cave. Our ancestors were indeed very wise. In France and China, we all make good use of time in order to give food new life and unique flavor. Donc, les raclettes, voilà, c'est ce que l'on a ici. Donc, tous les deux jours, nous devons les frotter. Donc là, on va prendre un petit peu, c'est de l'eau avec du sel et un petit peu de colorant, et on frotte le fromage. Alors pour les raclettes, le fromage doit rester ici trois semaines, minimum. Parfait, voilà, un vrai fromager. Merci, merci. Et bien voilà, maintenant tu sais faire la raclette, le fromage à la française. Tu pourras même en faire euh, n'importe où. Le fromage, c'est comme ça dans le monde entier. Et qu'est-ce qu'il y a de si traditionnel dans la fondue chinoise Guan Shu tells me that hot pot has a history of nearly 2,000 years in China, which I find amazing. In ancient times, the ancestors of the Manchu people lived and hunted in extremely cold conditions. That's how hot pot was born. 
It allowed them to warm themselves by a fire while eating meat and drinking. Merci de m'accueillir. J'ai l'impression d'être comme dans ma famille ici. Et pour manger, justement, on met tous les ingrédients directement dans la soupe. I've heard that Manchu hot pot is an intangible cultural heritage item of Jilin. Mm. Its main feature is that it lets you taste not just the rich ingredients of the region, but also the customs of the Manchu people. Today, Manchu hot pot is available in many places. It's an important part of Jilin's food culture, and local people love it. When family members reunite and friends get together, hot pot is the best choice, as it adds so much to the atmosphere. Alors là, tu as cinq produits que l'on fabrique ici. Celui que tu as fabriqué ce matin, c'est donc euh, la raclette euh, qui se mange donc euh, fondue. On fait aussi de la raclette fumée pour diversifier les goûts. Là, tu as le prince du gruyère, le beaufort, le vacherin, la tome mi-chèvre mi-vache, moitié lait de vache, moitié lait de chèvre, et la tome de Savoie. Il y a différents goûts, oui. Donc, euh, je vais te couper un petit bout de chaque. Comme ça, tu vas regarder au niveau goût, au niveau texture. On va commencer par le, par le plus doux, celui que tu as fabriqué ce matin. Ça, c'est la raclette. Si, si, si. si. Mm. Et maintenant, on va goûter le, le Beaufort. Mm. Au niveau de la recette, c'est quelque chose qui m'a été transmis par mes grands-parents et qu'on perpétue. Euh, ça c'est une chose. Et puis euh, dans notre métier, on travaille déjà à l'extérieur avec les animaux et on a cette chance-là de faire la chaîne de A à Z. On fait naître le veau, euh, on le voit grandir, ce veau va devenir une maman, on va la traire, on va fabriquer le fromage, on va l'affiner et puis la porter jusqu'à l'assiette du client. Et ça c'est une satisfaction euh, personnelle énorme. These delicious cheeses really show how people here are influenced by the local environment. Making cheese is not just about putting milk into a container and keeping it in the cellar for a while. It's about the close relationship between people and animals. For the Matisse family, cheese is not just a kind of food or product. It's the continuation of their tradition and culture. It's the most precious heritage left behind by their ancestors. Hi, Thomas. I've been trying so hard to making the tradition cheese and to know about oak culture. Yeah, you've done it. Good job, man. Well, I'm in Belarus Ski Resort, your home turf. It's looked beautiful, but doesn't look so hard. I think I'm gonna send in some kits and with a ski, and you guys will have some competition. <laughs> okay, man, see you on the flip side. I'm in Beidahu Ski Resort in Jilin. It is surrounded by mountains on three sides and has a pleasant climate. It's covered with snow for 160 days in a year. 
It's equipped with facilities that meet international standards. Many international ice and snow sports events have been held here. For skiing enthusiasts, there is only one word to describe this place. Perfect.你好，你好，你好，跟你介绍一下我们的队员们，孩子们。Salut my forte is the slalom, which requires both skill and speed. Skiers need to ski between poles or gates on a zigzag path. Because of the high speed involved, the skier must be very careful when one is preparing to make a turn. Only in this way can one reach the finishing line at the highest speed possible. Yeah. 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 Okay. Et là, si tu veux vachement Ok, donc j'ai vu passer Sang Simion. Et pour moi, je trouve que ce qui, je pense, c'est le mieux de tous. Par contre, il, va, il se focalise trop sur le, il va trop droit sur la porte. Il n'est pas assez en direction avant la porte. Ok, on va retrouver tes élèves. Les jeunes, on a la porte ici, une porte ici. Tu arrives à prendre la vitesse dans la ligne de pente. On appelle ça la ligne de pente ici. Tu fais que relâcher la pression, reprendre l'autre virage tout le temps pour avoir un temps d'avance sur le tracé. Et ce sera nettement plus simple et plus fluide aussi pour toi. Et tu pourras toujours aller chercher encore plus de vitesse, encore plus de vitesse. I was happy to share my skills and experience with the kids. I fell in love with ice and snow sports when I was their age. During this trip in Jilin, I found that ski resorts here are as good as any around the world. Jilin's unique features also make them even better. Ice and snow culture, tourism and sports have formed a complete industrial chain in Jilin. Ice and snow sports have deep roots in Jilin and almost every child knows how to ski. Ji Lin has cultivated many outstanding athletes. Some of them have become champions in international competitions and the Olympic Games. By hosting the Winter Olympic Games, China has got 300 million people to participate in ice and snow sports, almost five times the population of France. This is no exaggeration. In Jilin, I can see people coming to ice arenas and skiing resorts everywhere. This not only makes them healthier, but will also boost Jilin's influence in the global winter sports arena.
in the past few days, I skied down from the top of Pramku. That thrill and the soft, smooth, powdery snow still linger in my mind. Just now, Thomas told me that there is another exciting sport in Savoie that I will definitely want to check out. As an extreme sports enthusiast, I'm really looking forward to it. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, you're good? Nice to meet you in the middle yeah. of the mountain. Sunny Beautiful. days, perfect, no wind. Yes. You're ready to start speed riding? I'm ready, I'm ready. Perfect. The first thing is to put your armors okay. on. This is a sport I've never tried before. The coach tells me that it was invented by the French and ingeniously combines paragliding and skiing. I think this is in line with the romantic and adventurous character of the French people. He also tells me that this sport is pretty dangerous, so I have to master the skills. This makes me even more excited. Yeah, perfect. And you keep it really high because yeah. we don't want one line can touch your boots. Two, yes. Because one line like this is 500 kilogram resistance. Okay. And we'll twist your knees before the line. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. 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 Go through and grab the ball. The coach is confident in my skiing skills, so the most important thing for me is to master the paraglider. Because once I hit the road, no one can help me. I will have to deal with all the dangers on my own. I have a little nervous. Yeah, it's quite normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Turn your skis and go. On W, hands up. Up your hands. Okay, look at your stick. Long straight line like that. That's perfect. The moment I start skiing on the slope, I fall in love with the sport. Sometimes I ski on the snow and sometimes I fly in the air. Hands up again. The coach is constantly giving me instructions. For a novice like me, safety comes first. Extreme sports highlight the spirit of challenging yourself, enjoying sports, and becoming one with nature, while enjoying and respecting nature. It's not about taking blind risks. Wow, 刚刚下来, speed riding, wow, speed riding. The French Alps are wonderful. The Changbai Mountains in China are amazing. Though we are in different countries, we can all experience the charm of the ice and snow world. We've traveled thousands of miles, experienced different cultures and customs, and met new friends. Wow. Through the trip, we've learned more about each other. Our friendship is deeper now. We all love ice and snow. It strengthens the bond between us. Our adventures in the powdery snow have become a shared memory. <laughs>